All right, so what about this course? Oh man, did I already say this? But just like, you know, you're in a class about friggin' South Park. What the fuck? You know, my head is exploding. I, I mean, I literally can't believe it. When this show came out, I was a senior in high school. I'm gonna date myself. I was a senior in high school. And I was like, wow, oh, this is really funny teenage boy jokes. I'm like, this is not gonna last long like The Simpsons. And here we are, 24 seasons in, and it's still here. Uh, although I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> um, but like, you know, basically, we're in a class about South Park, and we're going to use South Park as a tool to explore other topics, uh, ideological topics, philosophical um, topics, topics about um, identity. Um, we're just going to use it as a sort of a jumping point to talk about critical theory, cultural theory, social theory, um, and also look at episodes and social and their social context of production. So obviously with South Park, just like any other um, media, is made in a certain time. The fact that South Park, you know, used to be made, you know, in a week, every episode during season, is they could really stay on top of current events. So we'll kind of talk about the social context of not only the production of the episodes, but we'll talk about their social context now, maybe 10 years later, 20 years later like how is society in that way different or not different at all but basically yeah we're gonna um explore everything from topics of um you know sexual identity to intertextuality in courses i mean in text between texts we're gonna look at uh, political correctness uh, we'll talk about patriotism political philosophy we'll spend a lot of time talking about libertarian philosophy because matt and trey are li libertarians at least philosophically and partially politically but really you know our goal is to kind of um you know look at south park critically like examine the south park itself critically but also look at what south park is making fun of now some of us may love it we may love the show some of us may actually hate the show or hate parts of the show i mean it's radically offensive to um to many many people but it really pushes the envelope of free speech of censorship um you know uh, uh etc et and um, you know, I think this is a good point for us to think critically about, about the show. We can obviously celebrate it. I mean, I'm a South Park fan. I find a lot of it funny, but a lot of it is dumb. And a lot of times they miss, they miss the mark with their, with their critique or, you know, or whatever. So, um, yeah, we are going to watch a hell of a lot of South Park. Um, and so for y'all who came into this class and, and, you know, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, love South Park this may be great or it may ruin the show a little bit for you uh for you for y'all who've never seen it which i love um wow <laughs> get ready yo um but yeah i mean we're gonna do a lot of serious you know talking uh reflection self-reflection um and then like we're also gonna laugh at like puke shit fart hippie jokes you know whatever okay uh, on the syllabus, you can read the learning outcomes, but you're going to learn some shit. <laughs> uh, you're going to learn some stuff, so you can read what, read what those are. I do have a disclaimer for this class. All lectures and discussions in this course, even those based on reality, are not entirely fictional. All celebrity voices are impersonated poorly. The following course contains course language, and due to its content, it should be taken by everyone. Listen, yo. I put this disclaimer in there, which is a play on the South Park disclaimer, is like, you got to have a little bit of a thick skin to be in this class. Um, uh, there's one, there's two feelings I've never had in my life. Number one is being embarrassed. I've never felt embarrassed. Um, number two, I've never been offended. Um, I've never been offended for someone else. I've never personally been offended. And that may be, you know, me speaking from my position uh, you know, privilege as a straight white dude, um, you know, uh, 
totally, uh, but like I've never been offended. So uh, what I'm saying though is there's a lot of topics in this class and a lot of content in South Park that may be offensive is, is what I'm saying. And if you're not used to the show or maybe there's some episodes you haven't seen, I mean, you may be, um, you may be offended and you kind of got to reconcile um, with those with those issues, you know. And again, like I think that's the important part is like, you know, the show is not perfect. It's flawed, you know, and the, and the message they put out there are flawed. But, you know, the savviness of their satire, their parody of the intellectualism of, of the show is often in the viewers. You know what I'm saying? So y'all are in college. Y'all are probably smart enough to make some sense out of this stuff, you know, um, and to think about it beyond what it is, you know, versus people who, who just can't, you know, I mean, how many, you know, 12 year olds, you know, call everybody a Jew um, because I heard on South Park, you, you know what I'm saying? And not understanding it's like, that's maybe offensive, not right, you know, because it's on a cartoon and it's funny, but whatever. I watched South Park with my three year old kid. Um, so work, workload for this class, you know what I'm saying? Um, hey, yo, you got to watch a couple hours um, in each module of videos of Andre talking. It's probably like more like an hour like lectures and it's broken up into smaller bits and pieces. Um, and mind you, the videos get better as they go along. They get shorter. I edit in more content, more clips, more images, whatever. They get, they get better. I was just sort of figuring it out at, at the beginning. So you may have longer, more boring videos at the beginning. They get shorter, but probably equally as boring as we, as we move along in the, in the term. Um, each module you'll probably watch um, up to two full episodes of South Park. Um, so it's, it's a lot of watching. It's about hour-ish plus of lecturing. And then um, you got to watch some. And then I require you to do some reading and some watching before each module. So you do, you know, you're going to probably have about six to eight hours of work uh, per class. Um, each module or almost each module has a, a quiz at the end and a short reflection write-up which is very short so let me let me focus on short um okay and then you have a final project which i'll talk about in a, in a, in a minute so each module take you should take you about three hours to do and three hours to prepare for so i don't know all right so how you will you be graded in this class there are short quizzes that are worth 50 percent of your grade they're on most modules i will drop the shittiest five for you so um the shittiest five for you unless they are um zeros meaning you didn't do the quiz in that case you know whatever you know but if you bomb some or whatever i'll, I'll, I'll take the lowest five um five away um you have, uh, so you have 50% is quizzes. You have 10% of your grade is module responses. So a short reflection based on the same prompt for each, each module. And then you have a final presentation um, that is worth 40% of your grades. Now, while we're speaking of grades, uh, important couple bits. Um, I don't give A pluses. They do not exist. Uh, on a 4.0 scale, the highest grade you can get an A. Um, awarding someone uh, an A plus at uh, our age is juvenile, infantile, embarrassing. Um, it's like me giving you a sticker for not crapping in your pants and going to the bathroom. Um, it's just, I don't know. It doesn't exist on a 4.0 scale, but you can get an A. That's a fantastic grade. That's an unbelievable grade. Um, I also don't give 100s. Um, so you can score, the highest you can score on any quiz will be a 99. And it's just because we can always do 1% better. <laughs> All right, uh, Canvas. We'll do a Canvas tour in a few seconds here, um, but yeah. Everything is through Canvas. If y'all don't know how to use Canvas, you're gonna wanna learn real fast, but I'll take you on a little tour. This stuff should all be really like organized. Each module should be like really like on point. You should be able to just bang, bang through them. Um, you know, um, if you, but you gotta do two, two a week, okay? But everything um, will we'll, we'll have, uh, you know, will be on Canvas.